Not gonna lie, today was one of my most epic thrift hauling days uh, at Goodwill. I found 16 items that made my time worth $150 per hour. Come see what I found and we will talk reselling along the way. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a part-time reseller who sells. I work a full-time job and I go uh, thrifting, sourcing on the at nights and on the weekends. And I've been reselling for two years and I make about $2,000 profit per month and climbing. Um, and I've been uh, sharing my experience on YouTube for two months now. Um, and super happy for those who are regular followers. Please make sure you subscribe and help support. And we're about to get into some of the finds. We're kind of leaving winter now, uh, getting into March, so we are definitely being a little bit more picky when it comes to jackets. We want to find things uh, that are going to sell really well. Um, I find right here a Lauren by Ralph Lauren wool houndstooth sports coat, um, pre-owned. We're going to get probably around $45 for it, and it costs $9.99. These have sold well for me, especially with the hound tooth print and the wool. Um, and then it doesn't hurt to have the Ralph Lauren name tag uh, on it as well. So I'm checking every inch of it because these uh, sports coats end up getting in closets, mothballed. Uh, you're looking for holes, stains, rips, tears, buttons work. Zip, you know, if it had a zipper, zippers work. No pit stains. Um, tags are still there. Um, there's nothing gross about it. There's no odor. Um, you really want to make sure that this is a quality item that people are going to come to your store to get and be happy they got it. So I'm about to find another jacket. Uh, this is a really cool, another Lauren by Ralph Lauren jacket. Really nice. Um, I did pick this up. I bought it after inspecting it. Got it home, got it to the photo table. Everything was perfect about this jacket except the zipper. When I went to zip it up, it opened midway. I couldn't get it to work. I ended up taking this back. That stain came out. It was worth bringing home and cleaning, but the zipper didn't work. So I would have flipped this. I would have paid the $14.99, uh, but uh, I didn't count it against today's total since I did return it and went on to uh, get another product. But as always, you know, we check the buttons. For some reason, I didn't check the zipper while I was there. Um, lesson learned. And on this channel, we talk about our errors. We talk, we're transparent um, so that we can all learn together. Like what, what, what makes it so bad? Uh, sometimes when you get home and you just smack your forehead and you're just like, oh my God, I noticed it to check this and I didn't check it. Um, Leave stuff in the comments of things that, that does that for you where you've gotten it home and you're like, oh my God, I didn't check this thing. Um, sometimes it's shirts, it's on the arm. Uh, people lean on their arms and there's tears. Um, and you just don't see it because it's like on the inside arm. Um, but the game is to be as thorough as possible when checking any item. Uh, you don't want to uh, sell anything damaged. Fortunately, at my Goodwill, the... Uh, when you do re make a return, you got seven days typically. You need that color coded tag plus your receipt to come in, and they'll give you a store credit. So I come in daily or every other day, um, so it's easy for me to spend that money. Here I am. I s found a rack just hanging out. Um, went for the jackets first, but then this rack came out. So always jump right on the racks. Nobody's looked through this. You can potentially find uh, top selling, 100% sell through brands here before anybody else gets it. Don't wait, don't try to finish your section. Stop what you're doing, come right over. You never know what you're gonna find. Um, and as you can see, it's a little bit everything, just like out there, but nobody's picked through it. Nobody's cherry picked. You're finding it for the first time. And so far I'm having no luck, but that's not the point. I would say I average one item per look through now. Um, so it's always worth my time and I find the highest dollar items on these racks. And what is this? Is that Lululemon men's black jogger pants right on the rack? 
This is already sold, guys. It sold within a couple of days for $25. That's what we're looking for. That's what I never find. Uh, and we got it right away. Super cool. So glad I came to the rack. I know it's going to sound like beating a dead horse, but we are going to keep trying to do repeatable processes over and over. I'm going to give the same tips till, till it's ingrained in your mind and my mind. You know, we get to the racks. We find the stuff before everybody else does, right? We're looking up sell through. We want to improve our game, become the reseller who lasts through all economies um, and can make extra money on the side or if you want to make this a full-time job then more power to you you can really make a living uh, hitting a bunch of these in a day because this is what I make in a two-hour trip here to my local Goodwill right can you imagine uh, if I did that 10 in a day and they wouldn't all average like today's but they would still be good we're not going to count this pair of pants, but I'm eyeballing it because it's my size. And who doesn't want to pay $20 for a brand new pair of Levi's? I'm all about that. Uh, so those are going in the cart, and I'm wearing them right now as I'm talking to you. Um, great pair of pants. And right at my price point for a brand new set of Levi's for myself. A little high if I wanted to resell it online. But we always check the jeans while we're here. Uh, focus on the areas you've done some research on first. That's where you're going to make your most money because knowledge is money. Um, I've studied kind of what sells on jeans. So more of my knowledge is in this department. It's just when you're at Goodwill paying jeans prices, they're really high. So you really got to know. You got to have something extra special to pick up jeans at Goodwill especially here in California. Checking that tag, checking for the big E. You can kind of look at the jeans. It's got a kind of a different kind of label on it. I've never seen that label. Um, so it's causing me to dig more because I just have never seen that particular brand or that style of Levi. I think it's older, but I don't, I don't know how much money's in it. Uh, so I do leave it behind. I don't know everything about jeans. Uh, I'm in a Levi's group now where I'm finding out that I should be checking zippers. But look at this. This jean material, you can just tell right now it's looking different than any other jeans just by how it looks. Now we get in the inside and it's really different. It's made in the USA, vintage Levi jeans. I got it listed for $99.99. If I make anywhere between 50 and 100 bucks on these, I'm going to be super stoked. And I paid $9.99 for them. This is so cool. And when you're in a Goodwill and you find something, you never know if that came from somebody's estate sale where they just dropped off all their stuff. There might be more. So we always continue to check, especially in the same size area in other sections. Uh, for stuff that's vintage of that kind. Because wouldn't it be cool if we found a second pair? I'm having to deal with all the pants that people thrown over the top of it. Just making sure that uh, they weren't anything good. Sometimes people throw good pants up there. But sometimes they're just throwing them up there so somebody can snag them and run out the door. Um, I'm just trying to get back to uh, my, my shoveling of every item. Here we go. What is that? Oh, this has got that same look as the other ones. Not another pair, is it? The jeans look the same as the last one. Does it have the USA tag? It does. We found two pairs. And if you notice, I put the tag uh, size 33 by 30 on both, but their measurements, actuals, were different on both. So you have to measure these things. They shrink different. Um, but I was so stoked to find two made in the USA, and they had it at $9.99. Everything they sell that they think is of value is like $24.99. 
So I'm just shocked. Um, that's a Levi's Big E. You see that? The problem with Levi's Big E right now is they've re-released the Big E. Um, and so there's some modern Big E's that aren't vintage that are just not as good as the ones that are from like the 60s and 70s. So um, I end up leaving these behind. Uh, not the Big E I'm looking for. Let me know in the comments if that was a miss and you would have sold these. Um, but I was looking for more of the Made in USA Big E. All right, we're going to switch over to the shirts and I'll show you a couple what solds uh, from this section as I usually do. Um, I sold this Dixon casual button down shirt, the cape, uh, $34. I took an offer. I think I had it listed for $44.99. Um, but we're getting to uh, the end of season for flannels. And although this is a bamboo blend, um, I wanted to get these sold as quick as possible. I also sold this Linen Tommy Bahama shirt uh, on an offer, uh, $35. You saw me pick this up at a recent uh, thrift haul as well. And I found it in another size uh, in a video that's probably going to be released shortly. So I found two of the same shirt uh, within a couple of weeks. That's kind of crazy. But I was glad to get one that sold because Tommy is a little bit slower uh, of a sell through for me. Yeah, lots of Columbia, lots of common shirts in here, uh, paper cloth, I, common, common uh, Hawaiian shirts, Hawk. Um, they're just, I know these brands don't have a high sell through, so I'm just turning and burning, looking for something that's different. If I pass a shirt that you know has a high sell through um, for $20 profit, please let me know in the comments. I'm always willing to learn new uh, tags, um, but I'm just cruising for what I know. Oh, here's a nice Wrangler shirt with a, a sawtooth uh, pockets. I think I'm putting it back because I found a flaw. Because um, I do like those Wrangler uh, Western shirts, especially with the sawtooth. Here's a reverse print. A Hawaiian shirt it's made to look faded on the outside with the print on the inside um, I don't really know the brand as well um, so I left it behind but yeah this this has got nice colors on it for that Hawaiian shirt just not a brand I recognized and sometimes you can pick up clothes because they look good but uh, for me I found that it has to be the right material um, and sometimes the right brand uh, to really sell because nobody's looking for it. Here's an interesting Tommy Bahama. Um, I've been leaving more Tommy Bahamas than taking, but uh, every now and again I will take one uh, if I if I got it for the right price. But they want too much for it. They want $9.99 upwards of $14.99. Um, another Tommy, $9.99. Just couldn't find comps on that one. So I left it behind. I might pick it up on half off day. Oh, and by the way, today is half off day. It's a Sunday. So the blue tags were 50% off. Um, and I shouldn't find many uh, shirts that I want even 50% off because if they were worth something when I came through the first time, I should have just picked it up then um, versus risking having somebody else pick it up. Here's another topic of discussion. This is a Joseph Abood shirt. Uh, it actually looks pretty cool, but I used to shop at Men's Warehouse uh, and buy a lot of my dress clothes there for work. Uh, and I would pay upwards of 50 plus dollars for one item, one shirt, one pair of pants, one tie. Um, and then you get to the thrift and it's, it's five to six bucks. And for resale, it's no more than 10 to 15. It's crazy. Always, always check uh, for anything that you like to make sure that it's not for resale somewhere else uh, for a lot cheaper. Even when you're buying for yourself, if you got that favorite shirt, go hunt it down. It's probably on the market somewhere. Um, but don't just go by your knowledge and think, oh, because you paid 50 bucks for it, 
it's going to resell well you got to look these things up use the ebay uh, search machine as uh, but to your full advantage um, check Terapeak if you need to um, you got to prove to yourself those things sell or they don't sell and just leave them behind guys always walk the racks of the sections you don't normally look in uh, you never know what's lurking or lingering I turned around to look at the kind of casual pant, uh, dress pants uh, just to make sure there wasn't any jeans or anything stuffed in there and you won't believe what I run into in this section it's crazy what is this a roper embroidered brown western shirt that's already sold for me within a week for $31.49 it's got these cool brown pearl snaps all that blue embroidery there's not a flaw on this thing just sitting over in the men's jeans has no business over there but that's my profit because I was looking in a section that I don't typically look too long but I'm just skimming over making sure nothing's stuffed in there because sometimes uh, people stuff things in other sections for whatever reason um, I know some of the employees they, they can't purchase things unless they've been in the store for a week so there might be a employee stashing something somewhere in the store hoping people won't go there and look so get out and skim the other areas you never know what you're gonna find all right we always keep an eye I said for racks but also for these bins when there's fresh product that nobody's been through get in there get be first and see what there is this is all looking like stuff I wouldn't pick up but you just never know until you get in there if this is gonna be worthy and I have no clue this is like a lunchbox to me right now I have no clue I'm about to open a thermos what is this well it's a laser level um, that I listed for $39.99 I think they asked uh, let's see on my list here $12.99 for it it works everything's fine super stoked would have never found it now I can't get it back in the box oh my god I'm on video trying to stuff this thing back in how embarrassing oh whew, we got there got to get this thing closed and keep looking in the bin you can see all the other people are starting to hover they see this bin they're coming at me I'm sitting here trying to Google research while I'm in it I should have just put this in the basket and searched later continued uh, searching but I'm also trying to see is this thing go for any money is it gonna be in the price range and is there sell-through uh, enough for me to pick this up so uh, but what a cool find another bin another item all right but we got to get back to this other bit this get this thing out of our hands and get back to the bin uh, see if there's anything any more profits in that bin um, don't miss the opportunity while it's there there's a pot or pan plush some games just not seeing anything I like yet but you gotta look under the things you never know what's inside I spot these pair of glasses uh, I've been watching other resellers content that sell sunglasses would totally like to uh, be listing uh, 30 to 50 dollar sunglasses for uh, if you can get them for about five bucks uh, I've been unlucky so far every pair of glasses I uh, find has been priced up or is just not worth anything um, I just I think I'm the unlucky guy but I am not going to certain thrift stores and being there when they open as well. Uh, so that does not help when it gets to the sunglasses game. What else we got in here? There's a fancier set of glasses. Hard to translate those names. I can barely read it in person. I'm trying to show it on camera is crazy. There's mug life in here. What else we got? 
I have listed some very old pair of old glasses um, from like the 40s and 50s. Um, I think they're called like cat eye or something frames. Um, and those haven't sold. Uh, but I listed them really high. Oh, there's a key of love. Love is definitely the key to happiness. You don't need money for love. I mean, money doesn't hurt, but you don't need it for love. Oh, another cart came out while I was here. Hoping to find the pro tennis rackets. Unfortunately, these look beat. Nemo. Always talk to the employees while you're here. Um, I asked him if this was the last cart. He was like, the managers are putting one more together. Um, they might come out with it. Uh, so that kind of gives me a heads up like, oh, should I hang around for another five, 10 minutes? Or should I uh, hit the road and hit a different thrift? Um, so get to know the employees, um, see what you can find out. Information is more information that helps inform our decisions is uh, good for us. So talk and get to know your, your people. I'm just not finding anything in this one. Wasn't loving it. Moving, moving on to bigger and better things. All right, I'm walking down a new aisle, and there's something that doesn't belong there, a plush blanket sitting in the kitchen aisle. Um, I end up picking it up. Not a huge profit here. Uh, just have an affinity for cars since my kids uh, were growing up during the cars time. Um, Mater's cool. Um, and it looked um, new without tags, uh, so I ended up picking it up. But nothing extra special. But you never know what you're going to find if you're not looking around in the different shelves of different sections. All right, we're in the sports aisle. We find this Rawlings uh, Ozzy Smith glove, uh, $4.99. Uh, listed it for $24.99. It's in really good condition, vintage glove, fully broken in. I'm always looking out. Uh, sometimes I find gloves worth $150. Bucks. It's one of my favorite aisles in Goodwill. Um, I'm usually looking for votives or boxes of candelabra type things. Um, Fitz and Floyd, the Kirkland um, brand from Costco, all tend to have um, high dollar amount sales. While they're a little slower, as long as they're in mint condition, uh, they typically do sell uh, towards the season. Um, and I'm about to share a what sold. If you remember a while back on a Goodwill thrift video, I picked up a bag of porcelain head clown dolls. I think I picked them up for $9.99 or less, um, and they recently sold. Let me show you. Now, my wife wasn't very happy about me bringing clowns into the house and her having to photo and list them. Uh, she, de she hates clowns. Uh, but for $34.99, that off of $9.99, that's a great pickup. And it was out of one of the roller bins before anybody got to it. Um, you just got to kind of know and uh, that it has some value. Uh, this mug, I was pretty sure it didn't have a high sell through. Um, I was just looking it up to make sure um, that I was right. Um, but this is me in the store. I'm using the eBay. I'm using... Um, Google search lens I'm finding out correct names keywords trying to see how much these things go for um, I do not want to buy stuff that just sits in my store for uh, three to five years right um, without even selling we need the money back and we and we need to move on to the next better selling item Sometimes I have to take a second pass in this section. There's so much going on. These shelves are so busy. Um, it's hard to see what's worth something and what's not worth something amongst the mix. 
Um, sometimes curiosity and research is when you're new, you're just going to have to look. I found this. You didn't see it up top, but I saw this kind of tiki head. It's a Coco Joe's King uh, Kamehameha Hapa Woodstead. I butchered that. Um, but I know Coco Joe's and Tiki, um, it didn't sell for a lot, and it is damaged on the top. I did note that. Um, but I don't mind uh, sourcing a little Tiki because uh, I'm always looking for Tiki when I'm out here um, in the thrift. And as always, when there's one item, there's usually more. So I'm searching, searching, searching for more. I, curiosity hit me again. I tell you, I like to pick up these bags of things. There's prices individually on each one of these. I've never seen them. Uh, come to find out they're little Buddhist statues uh, made of uh, like a red resin. Um, I have no clue of their value at this point. Um, there is a price of like seven or nine ninety nine for the whole bag, um, and I'm gonna go do the research. I'm gonna pull out my phone and see what they're worth. I listed these things, guys, for seventy bucks. One, the one I was looking up, somebody had it listed for one hundred thirty five for the one piece. Um, I don't think that's correct. Um, I think they're more in the seventy dollar range, and I'll probably take an offer, um, probably around fifty. Um, but for seven to nine ninety nine for the bag to get seventy, that's a great little find, and they're all nice, uh, no issues, uh, and they're cool looking Buddha Buddha statues. So somebody's gonna like that. I just gotta wait for the right buyer. I always check out the hat racks. Uh, there was this kind of cool fedora uh, hat, straw hat from uh, Cost Plus World Market, um, four ninety nine. I did not look it up while I was in the store. I just thought that that hat would sell eh, $14.99, not the greatest flip there. Um, if I get $12.99, uh, it's okay. Uh, maybe it'll make my other hats move uh, since I do like sourcing hats. This is probably the most visited Goodwill that I come to. Um, it's a blue tag, 50% off. I've passed this shirt up. I think this has got those Y2K vibes going on. Uh, nice two color striped uh, denim shirt um, listed for $22.99 it had a couple titch of flaws um, but I thought it was worth uh, picking up for half off worst case scenario I just get my money back by selling it at the um... oh I just drew a blank um, swap me <laughs> Because uh, I do sell at the swap meet every now and again when I buy a storage locker. So I'll put it in that pile. But right now, I'm going to give it a good six months uh, and try to sell it. I also found this 511 Tactical Long Sleeve Shirt. I love their pants. They're great work pants. Um, so I'm going to try uh, to sell the shirt uh, since I've never sold one. Uh, so I listed it for $23.99. All right, further down the long sleeve shirt rack, I find this really nice Peter Millar shirt. It's like a flannel cotton, uh, but it's like lighter. Um, I know people have said they're getting away from Peter Millar unless they're kind of more exclusive or special, but this one was flannel, um, so I put it on for $29.99. This will be my first Peter Millar shirt uh, that I'm trying to sell. Um, so we'll, I'll let you know how it goes. You'll see in a future video. I do like to post uh, my recent solds during my videos that I thrift so you know that I'm selling things that I am picking up because uh, if it doesn't sell, it doesn't count. I would say the long sleeve shirts are the least pick through when I come through. Um, a lot of people don't search over here, um, so I usually have the best chance. This one was different. Uh, I saw the zipper, so I was like, let's research this a little more. Rockin' Republic, I've sold one of their shirts before. It took a little while, um, but I'm going to try it again. I uh, put it up for $19.99. Uh, not a huge profit, maybe 10 bucks when it's all said and done. Uh, but I think um, it has a chance of selling, it's, and it's extra large. Those of you who know, uh, when you go over these racks, your arms start to burn after a while, uh, keeping them elevated, flipping through. But every now and again, you find something cool like this Wrangler uh, Pearl Snap Western Plaid Flannel, uh, listed it for $24.99. Um, Western shirts have been selling really well for me and Wrangler, uh, so I'm hoping to get a good flip there. 
All right, it's time to talk about how we did today. We had an eBay potential sell price for all the 16 items at $603.37. That's not including shipping or any of that other stuff. This is what I would get for it. Um, let's count the 30% of fees where we're going to subtract that, $181.01. And then we have our buy cost, so what it costs to get the materials, $117.35. So after subtracting that, uh, we're going to have a $305 potential day here. That is an amazing, epic day uh, for thrifting. I hope to have every day be like that. I, this is probably the higher end of the average for me, um, so I do like sourcing other ways. Uh, but when you're in the winter and you don't have time to do the other stuff, this is how we got to get our money. And why not be able to learn how to get as much as you can out of thrift store, even when they're charging higher. Until next time, keep grinding, keep learning, have fun, and most importantly, be kind.